Here's a discrete probability distribution. What we want to do here is find the standard deviation of that discrete probability distribution. Here's the formula for finding the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. But notice, to be able to do that, we're going to need to know what the mean is. And here's the formula for finding the mean of a discrete probability distribution. Calculations are always easier if we can get the data into R. So let's begin by building a vector x. We also need the probability associated with each of those vectors with each of those x values. I've named that object px to remind me that it's the probability of each of the individual x's. Our first step is to find out what mu is, what the population mean is, because I'm going to need that in this formula. And that population mean is an easy formula to execute. It's just the sum of each of the x values times each of the corresponding p values. Now the standard deviation is a rather complicated formula, so let's build it up just a little bit at a time. We can see in the formula that we need to take an x minus mu. So for each of the x values, we'll subtract that mean that we have found and then we need to square that each one of those individual values. We'll need to times each one of those values by the probability associated with each of the individual x's. And then we'll need to add up that vector. So there's the calculation of the part that's inside the square root. That's actually called the variance. So I'm going to save that in an object called var, for variance. And then the standard deviation is going to be easy to find. It's just going to be the square root of that variance. So in this script, I've saved that square root of the variance, which is the standard deviation, in an object called SD. I'll need to uh, ask the script to print out that particular value and then run the script. In R to run the script I need to highlight it and press the run button and there. Executing the script the standard deviation is 1.02 and so on. Okay, easy peasy. It's so nice once you get the data into R you can you can carry out these complicated calculations just one step at a time quite easily.